Hello everyone, my name is V from IELTS Speaking. Today, we're gonna talk about clothes and fashion, and I've prepared some part 3 questions for you. In this lesson, you're gonna pick up some topic vocabulary, and also, you will learn how to organize your ideas to answer questions in part 3. Now, let's go to question 1. What factors affect the clothes we choose to wear? As you know, it's crucial to paraphrase the key words from the questions to show off our vocabulary a little bit. So instead of saying factors that affect the clothes we choose to wear, we should say what we base our decision about what to wear on includes. An influential element is we tend to decide what to wear according to before you go into detail, you should generalize your answer by saying there are several factors involved. Remember, never count the factors that you're going to include in your answer because you may forget one or two of them. And here are the four main items that I want to include in my answer to question number one. There's a catch. We don't have time to mention all of the four main ideas here in detail. So, I've decided to focus on occasions and the weather only. Here's my full answer. There are several factors involved. First of all, I think it's crucial to dress for an occasion. For example, when we go to work, we have to follow the dress code. But if we have parties to attend, Obviously, we should choose something a little bit sexy, for example, or impressive, so that we can be dressed to kill. Another factor that we will take into consideration when choosing something to wear is probably the weather. Let's take a coat and scarf for freezing winter days as an example. In contrast, things like shorts and a light t-shirt to combat summer heat are essential. In addition to these, I believe that age and figure, together with personality, also play a part. Question number two. What or who determines what's in or out of fashion? Once again, the first thing that I would try to do immediately is to paraphrase the keywords from the question. So I'm going to use words like fashionable, trendy, and chic instead of in fashion. And to replace the term out of fashion, phrases and words like outdated, old fashioned, and not keep up with the latest fashion trends are going to be useful. This is the outline of my answer to question number two. As you can see, there are two main points. Here's my full answer. Well, I think there are several factors involved. First of all, I should mention fashion houses, famous fashion designers, and stylists because they are the most powerful and influential people in the fashion industry, in my opinion. And they're usually referred to as trendsetters. You know, very often in a year, they launch new fashion collections, and very quickly, the collections become new standards of aesthetics and fashion. So if you're wearing something that goes against the new trend set, you're not keeping up with the latest fashion trend. Additionally, I would like to talk about the role of celebrities, you know, famous singers, actors, and so on, who are usually considered as fashion icons. What they put on very soon becomes fashion. Actually, many people, especially the fans, try to emulate their idols and whatever they put on. Before we move on with two more questions, I'd like to summarize the useful techniques that I've been introducing to you. Firstly, don't forget to paraphrase the keywords from the questions. It's crucial if you really want to improve your vocabulary score. Besides, before you start your answer, you should generalize the answers. And after that, go into detail with one or two main ideas to expand only. And after that, List two or three other ideas. Do not go into detail at this phase. So far, I've answered two questions for you, and I have also shown you some useful techniques to answer the questions in part three. Now, it's your time to practice. 
To ask question number three, I think you may need to use the proverb to judge a book by its cover. And also, if I were you, I would make a comparison between comfort and luxury. Speaking of question number four, I believe to mix and match different items of clothing and to have a good taste in fashion are two useful phrases. Now, let's try to use all of the techniques and all of these vocabularies in your answers. Good luck! That's it for today. For more lessons, let's go to facebook.com slash speak English with Ivy. Bye!